Um, okay, we're recording. Cool. So welcome everyone to our oily fireside chat. I was out last week. So um, thanks, Tessa, for still having it. I was hoping you guys would connect. Yeah, it was um, fun. Yeah, cool. So I don't know, did uh, are a lot of you new? Uh, I don't know if people were here last week or if this is a lot of your first time. I have not attended any of these before. Oh, Tessa cool. Tessa invites fun. me, but I'm usually crazy busy. <laughs> awesome. This is my first time too. Oh, welcome. And Emily we've had before, just not video, it was only audio. Oh, that's right. She was, okay, well, that's why I don't recognize the face. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so for those of you that are new, um, I'll just introduce myself quick. My name is Rose Grunewald. I've been using oils for Young Living Oils specifically for about nine months now. I've used oils before, uh, but not always a very high quality. And... Um, it didn't like the reaction that I got from some of the store-bought oils and I met Tessa and she told me all about Young Living and um, I've been working really hard uh, over the last year or so to kind of get rid of toxins in my house and like I even use like stainless steel straws. I don't use plastic if I can avoid it and so um, oils just kind of became the next step on my journey to living a clean kind of toxin free life and I dove in with both feet and I've learned a ton and so we thought we would have these weekly chats where we could impart what our tips and tricks and everybody's um, uses for oils while we're safer at home here um, and keep everybody connected. And gather tidbits from you guys, because you guys use oils for things different than Luke and I would, so. Yes, from everybody that's involved. We love to hear how you're using your oils. Yep. Well, you three know Luke and I, so do you really, like, want an introduction? Nah, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> do you, so, you want to start, Tessa? Sure. Okay. So the oils that I'm going to highlight for this week that I really enjoy, if you guys um, are on my Chemical Free with Castle Farley page, you may have read it from yesterday, but frankincense and lavender, holy cow. Yeah, so with your toe, that was crazy. Yeah, so Saturday, I, it was really dumb. We're redoing the bathroom because, you know, we're stuck at home anyways with nothing better to do. So we're redoing the bathroom and <laughs> took a car jack to lift our cast iron sink so we could redo the countertop and he left the car it worked, by the way it did, it did work it was very successful but he left the car <laughs> jack he says it wasn't in the middle of the floor i say it was we'll leave that for the lord to decide anyway the car jack was in the bathroom and i was putting away towels and for some reason my brain did not register that there were tools on the floor and so like full force with my pinky toe and it hurt so bad it reverberated up into my ankle like that's how bad. I thought for sure it was broken I had broken that long bone in your foot I was like I'm gonna end up in the ER when COVID's going around I'm gonna die and like <laughs> rational brain was really working hard <laughs> and like blood everywhere it was horrible and so I was like okay, time to grab the oils because I'm out of Neosporin. So the medic in me was like, how do you not have Neosporin? And it was like, no, <laughs> you're an oiler. You don't need <laughs> Neosporin anymore. And so I grabbed, I was like, frankincense and lavender, I know, are both really good for any kind of skin issue or like cuts and stuff. So I put those on a Band-Aid. After I cleaned it up, I put those on a Band-Aid. And um, Sunday, I was still pretty gimpy. Luke was making fun of me because I was limping all over the house. It was pretty bad. It was awful. Um, and then Sunday night, I changed out the Band-Aid, and I was like, oh, it looks better. It, this should be good probably by the end of the week. Um, but then Monday morning, I took off the Band-Aid to switch it out again, and it was, like, gone. Like, I couldn't even tell that I had jammed my toe. It was fantastic. So yeah, that frankincense and lavender are like my two highlight oils for the week because they're incredible. <laughs> awesome. That's a good story. Well, not that you had to stub your toe, but that. Well, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, especially when it involves anything with the nail, it seems like that never heals. So to hear that it was healing so quickly is amazing to me. Yeah. Live jammed is so on the, your parents' doorway. Was that three years, four years ago? Yeah, three or four years ago. It didn't Indoor heal football, for like not a great idea. <laughs> His toenail didn't heal for like six months. It was awful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got Kit. Oh, there's a kitty. <laughs> Um, so I will go, I actually am not highlighting, um, an oil specifically, but I am going to highlight a product and then I actually have a tip for something that I did while camping. So, um, last week, um, my husband and I love to go fishing and, uh, last, not this past Saturday, but the Saturday before was the walleye opener on most lakes in, um, Wisconsin. And so we really enjoy walleye fishing and we have a truck camper. We took that up north and camped in my parents' cabin's yard so that we could be socially distant and safe and healthy, but also um, enjoy the outdoors. It didn't take the first one. And of course, um, being up north, the mosquitoes were starting to come out and this time of year, the gnats, like those black, like gnat things are horrible. I mean, just horrible. And I have heard that vanilla keeps them away. You can um, use vanilla. I've heard that dryer sheets, we all know how much we love dryer sheets, as toxic as they are, that they keep them away. And so over the years I've tried vanilla, I've tried dryer sheets, I've tried off and all of those kind of dangerous insect repellents. Well, this year I thought I would be smart. And so I bought the insect repellent. So like this gives you an idea how much you're getting with the insect repellent. I use, and this is a pump, just like if you have like a face wash, you just pump it one time into your hands. The back of this actually says to put it directly on your skin, which is an interesting uh, instructions to read when you think about off or what are the other brands cutter or whatever you're always told to avoid your skin so i put this on and they always fly around your head so i rubbed it on my neck my ears kind of on my face one pump i had plenty left over to put on my arms there was not a single gnat or mosquito around me with one pump of this stuff. Yay. I have never in my life had insect repellent actually work, right? You're always spraying it on and it's like you still get a few bug bites or they still bother you a little bit. Nothing. There was like nothing around me. And John was um, saying that the gnats were bad. My mom and dad were um, complaining about the gnats and I had nothing. And I looked at this stuff like, what the heck is in here? Because sometimes even natural soaps and whatnot, you're reading the stuff and you're like, I better look that up just to make sure because it's still a long name and really it's some constituent of coconut oil or something like that. So I looked and it's all things you can say, all things you can ingest, all things you can eat, no big deal. It's sesame oil, citronella, lemongrass, rosemary, geranium, spearmint, thyme, and clove and vitamin E. Awesome. So like nothing <laughs> horrible. Um, this thing is gonna last me forever, forever, because just like all the other Young Living stuff, I bet you I could have covered my whole body in areas I need with just one pump because I had so much left over like on my hands. I could have done my legs, my arms, and for me to be able to be you know, free of the bugs. I honestly was like, okay, is this really going to work? I was shocked. I'm always shocked when the oils work. I shouldn't be anymore, but I, this works like really good. I told my mom about it. I'm like, you have to buy this stuff. I actually added another one to my order so we can throw one in the boat so we don't forget it, you know, in the camper. And if it's still in stock, I've added it to my next month's order so we can have it in the house and we don't have to be running back and forth, you know, for when we sit on our porch at night here. So this stuff is awesome. Well, does someone else want to share an oily tip or trick or surprise from this week?
I had more of a question. Yes, we can take those two. <laughs> um, is it um, like what, one of my cats has uh, anxiety issues and it's not bad right now because we're home all the time. He, he and the other boy cat don't get along. And for the first five years they were together, they got along fine. But the last year or so, it's not been good. And so I was thinking of trying maybe the stress away on him to see if that helped calm him down, especially once if we ever get back to school. It seems like that may never happen, but uh, that's just because we're near the end of the school year right now. Um, Jasmine or Rose would be better to speak about cats because they both have them. Um, from my research, I wouldn't suggest stress away because it has lime in it and I'm told cats aren't so hip on citrus oils. Okay. Whereas peace and calming or lavender or even valor, I've heard all work well on calming down cats. But Rose, Jasmine, thoughts? Um, I have a cat that, well, I have two cats. One is very brazen and outgoing and kind of the king of the castle. And the other one has typically been more shy. Um, most people don't know I have two cats because <laughs> the, the one buff colored, he's always hiding. And um, I noticed, I would say when I started with Young Living and got my starter kit, I most often diffused lavender, valor, peace and calming, and then I bought the cedar wood on my first ER order. And so it was a lot of the like chill out oils and all I was, was doing at first was diffusing them. I would say about a month into diffusing these regularly, all of a sudden, um, John's cousin comes over to run the dogs and he comes in and the cat came running to him to be petted. Really? And he's like, what's going on? This cat like hides all the time. And we started to notice that this cat really came out of his shell. And it was like about six months in, we were talking about how much he's changed. His personality is so more outgoing, not so scaredy and anxious. And when we chalked it back, like when we really thought back, well, when did his behavior start changing? I'm telling you, it coincides with when I started using oils. Okay. Now, when I diffuse, I rarely diffuse, to be honest, I rarely diffuse stuff for energy. If I use something for energy, like citrus fresh or lemon is kind of zesty or peppermint, those I'm mostly like dropping in the shower in the morning or applying topically or ingesting. Most mm -hmm. of the stuff I diffuse is calming stuff. So like okay. cedar wood, valor, vetiver, peace and calming. Um, there's a lot of the florally oils, ylang ylang, um, and a lot of the blends, sacred mountain. Um, it's another one I do a lot. A lot of the piney ones that kind of ground you frankincense is a good one i've been doing um palo santo lately um i really think that just diffusing those helped him come out of his shell so i started simple with just lavender and that seemed to you know kind of be the one that i was diffusing the most and so you might find that that's um helpful <clears throat> okay thank you yep Um, the other thing, I guess on that note, I can share my other tip that I had. Um, I was wondering what the heck to do with all my leftover bottles. Like these are my empty, this is an empty lavender one. Mm -hmm. And, um, I actually made a little travel spray to go in our camper to like spray on my pillows as like a pillow spray. So these still have some residual oil in here you know that you can never quite get out unless you take that cap off and um so what i did was i just filled the rest with half witch hazel and half water with a little bit of oil that was in there and it's kind of a really subtle scent and then i found these um i found these spray tops on amazon for cheap that fit these little bottles oh so what I did is I just pop off the thing and then this little thing slides in here 
and now you kind of have a DIY spray and you can mix in here these labels peel off super easy if I just did like a lavender one and left the lavender label on because that's what I was going to spray on my pillow anyway but anyway my point of bringing this up is this might be a good thing if your cat lays in a certain blanket or pillow or whatever you could just have this nearby and just spritz it I think pretty easily as a to-go so kind of combining your cat question and my tip for using your um, leftover <clears throat> bottles in one there. Rose, could you share the, the link for the Amazon? I will. Item? Yep, I will. Um, I'll put it, you want me to put it in the event? I'll put it in the, uh, like the event description or um, on my page, I can do that. Okay. You put it in the event. I'll make sure Becca gets in the okay. event properly. Awesome. And you can, I have a Facebook group called Essential Adventures with Rose. You can like that too. And I share all sorts of stuff there. I do a lot of DIY stuff. So. Cool. Now my hands smell really good because I took <laughs> off the, the cap. I'm like, <sighs> I refilled my soap dispensers today because my um, my pump dispensers were getting low, and I got down and I'm like, oh, I just love the smell. <laughs> and Karen <laughs> looked, Karis is like, mama, and I was like, smell my hands. <laughs> I know, I feel like that Saturday Night Live lady who used to go like, <laughs> oils. <clears throat> what did you use in your soap, Tessa? What oils did you use? Um, so you can buy the Thieves refill. Oh, you, you filled it. Refill. Okay. You can buy, now there's that luscious lemon refill. Um, but I, <laughs> I like to experiment too much. So I have the Castile soap. You can get it on Amazon or Walmart or whatever. And it's like, so you buy the foaming hand pump dispenser things off Amazon and then you put in it's like a third of a cup Castile soap and then like 20 drops of oil whatever combo you come up with and then you <laughs> fill the rest with water yeah so the one I tried I ordered a long time ago I ordered sacral essence and it's got a weird name. It's not something you ever hear of. It was it was just something that I like, I don't know what to get this month, blind pick from the catalog. <laughs> it sat for like a year and a half unopened. I didn't use it because I, I didn't know what it was for. So it's sitting on my shelf. And like a month ago, I was like, I'm just going to crack it open and smell it. I smell it. I was like, this smells really good. Oh, this should go with lavender. So for like a month and a half, I've been doing a month, a month and that, I don't remember. Since I cracked it open, it, I've been doing sacral lessons in lavender and it smells amazing. I love it so much. Oh, awesome. Yeah. I weird oils that like, what is this? It smells really good. Um, whenever I get new oils, they don't even make it much further than I pull them out of the tubes that they come in and then I smell it right away because I'm too curious to weigh it. Um, I also make my own soap. I just do half of the Castile soap and half water so that no matter what size I'm using. Um, my favorite oils um, that I, so I experiment usually in my bathroom, but I found a blend I love for my kitchen that's my favorite and I did for in our camper. I like cypress and lemongrass together. Ooh, that would be a good one to try. Yeah, so I use about twice as much cypress as I do lemongrass. So I'll do like a 5 and 10 or a 10 and 20. Um, probably, I don't know if I do 10 and 20. That's a lot. But it's mostly, it's like in a pint, like a big pint jars, canning jars, what I put it in. Um, but cypress and lemongrass both are really, really good for the skin. Mm -hmm. um, so actually sometimes after going to the bathroom, I'll go into the kitchen to wash my hands with that soap instead of doing it in the bathroom because I like the smell better. <laughs> Here's something interesting that I was reading. I would say not for this time of year, but we've been getting freeze warnings. Did you know that cypress is really good to carry in your coat pocket because putting a drop on your hands helps with circulation so much that it can prevent frostbite? I didn't oh, wow. know that. 
yeah, I was reading about it last November, so I carried a bottle of Cypress in my winter coat all winter long, so that if my hands ever got super cold, I could put it on a drop, and then it would just bring the circulation to your hands, so then they won't freeze. It helped with long snow blowing, too. Oh, I bet. I think that's the main oil. Is Cypress the main oil in cell light, I think? You might be right. I'd have I to look, but is. I think you're correct. It has that kind of like magic smell. massage oil. Mm-hmm. Any other questions we can answer or cool stories we can hear? How are you oh, like or... your cedar wood on Kit? I'm okay. Yeah, I'll put are you, you on the spot. Unashamed. Of course not. <laughs> Incidentally, the cedar wood is fabulous. Yay! <laughs> I'm glad. Cedar I like diffusing that awesome. one at night. Good. It's a really good relaxation oil. Mm -hmm. I actually probably use cedar wood maybe the most out of all of my oils, believe it or not, which I love because it's one of the cheaper ones. Mm -hmm. um, it's awesome. I use it for almost everything. I love giving that one as gifts because if people love it, they don't have to spend an arm, a leg, or a firstborn to replace it because, <laughs> like you, people tend to use it a lot. So. Yeah. It helped. Um, it really helped me. I was having a lot of hair loss, and it really helped support my hair growth again. After I lost a bunch of weight, I was losing my hair like crazy, um, and I started rubbing it on my scalp uh, daily, and it worked really, really good. Um, to help support my hair regrowth. Maybe you should try that. Um, we have it in John's beard oil uh, because John's nickname when trying to grow a beard was Patches. <laughs> and um, so I made him a beard oil and his beard is really doing great. So I'm chalking it up to the oils, of course. <laughs> Jasmine's smile just got four times larger. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, ooh, I'm glad I tuned in tonight. No <laughs> comment. <laughs> no funny. We, I can't believe time goes really fast when we I chat know. oils. We're already Wait. about a half hour in. <clears throat> Did you want to share anything? You've been awful quiet. I think the big one for me is I haven't been sleeping well again. And uh, mm -hmm. I realized that my Valor was sitting on my nightstand but wasn't getting used. So the last, yeah, the last couple of nights I've been using it, it slept a lot better. I noticed. Um, I actually tried Janelle's tip from a couple weeks back. Peace and calming right on the crown of my head. One drop. I have never slept so sound in my life. It works really, really great. The crown of your head is amazingly successful. I mean, it, like putting oils there just amplifies their effect. It's awesome. I'm afraid to put vetiver on because I don't think I'll wake up. You might go into a <laughs> coma. <laughs> Call the ambulance, Rose won't wake up. Vetiver is very powerful for oh, yeah. sleeping for me, like very oh, yeah. much so. I'm working up the courage to try the buttoning technique. Have oh, you heard about that? I've done that, actually. How is it? Um, fine, although I will tell you that um, after doing it too many days in a row, it started to get irritated. Like, right. sometimes when you can't, like, you're camping or whatever, and you just can't shower <laughs> as much, and I was washing, but... <laughs> <laughs> So, so for those who don't research oils every single day of your life, um, the buttoning technique, so you, you wash out your belly button with like rubbing alcohol or mild soap or whatever. And then I th what's the recommendation for five nights? You put a drop of lavender in your belly button and it's like a full system. Lavender specifically will do a full hormonal reset in your body. So I was using um, 
I used lavender for probably about five nights. And then um, I read that you can use any oils really in your belly button and that it gets in um, quickly. Some people are also putting coconut oil in their belly button. They believe it helps with weight management. I don't know if I, I don't, I mean, a lot of people, more people would be putting it in their belly button if that <laughs> really, really worked. Um, but I was reading, I was trying, um, oh, what's the other purple one? Clary Sage? Yes, Clary Sage. Um, in hopes of supporting my estrogen. Oh, okay. Um, but, I mean, I think it does, it's a fine place to apply oils, don't get me wrong, but it's not somewhere I would, I wouldn't use it more than five days in a row because it just felt like it was getting irritated. Like it wasn't drying out with the oils in there and then it kind of felt irritated. I've been reading a lot about it lately. It keeps popping up in my Facebook educational groups that I'm a part of that, oh, this is so great and it's helping me sleep despite all the COVID stuff going on. And I'm like, I just don't know that I want something touching my belly button. Like that just seemed <laughs> weird. <laughs> you really don't notice it. Yeah. You really don't notice it. Like I said, it was more like after too many days in a row of it, it was like, okay, I'm just gonna leave this be for a while. And that was just my experience. So yeah. Any other questions? Nope. All right. Well, I think we can probably wrap up. Um, I usually post, when I get around to it, I usually post the recording on YouTube so that you can go back and rewatch. Like if you're wondering. You post it locked. I post it locked so that only the people who have the link can see it. But yep. So it's not like a public YouTube thing. Um, and that way, if you're ever wondering about your cats, for example, what oils did she say? You can go back and watch the video. So great. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for yeah. tuning in. <clears throat> well, thank you for finding the spray bottles. That'll be helpful. Yes. yes I'll post that. Um, they're awesome. I have so many, so many bottles. <laughs> I'm glad that I found that. Okay, cool. Well, everybody have a great uh, rest of your week, and we hope to see you here next week. Same place, same time. I set this up as recurring, so you'll use the same link and password from here on out. Okay, good. Awesome. Right. Thank you. Have a great week, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.